Hello guys, hello everybody. Today I am unboxing, I'm going to review and test the performance of the RSS240 from First Player. It's the liquid cooling solution that they offer. So let me say this, I am the first person in the United States who has one. I could be wrong, but as far as I know, I am the first one. And I am the first one to review it. So I feel proud and I am happy about it. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open it. And I'm gonna hit the mic, so I'm gonna turn this little thing sideways. It opens this way, kind of like the H100i. And we have a little box of goodies. So I'm gonna turn it sideways so you guys can see. Actually, I can't turn it sideways. You know what? Let me get this out. Um, at the very bottom of the case, I mean of, of, the, of the box, it's um, the instructions, one for Intel and one for AMD. Okay, so here we got a little box of goodies. Like I said, it comes with instructions, one for AMD and one for Intel which is pretty good, pretty handy. But if you've ever installed one of these, you know the basics. All right, so what's in here? Well, first, we have the first player steampunk fans. So let me go ahead and open them. Actually, I'm gonna leave them inside the little bag. And we have another one. This is a 240 millimeter radiator. So here we have another one, another fan very cool and sleek design what else is in here well here we got the brackets we got the amd and we got the intel intel brackets and we have a whole bunch of little screws in here let me open this up so i can show you what you get when you buy this i believe this is for the amd what that's what it looks like and here's another bag actually this thing it's yeah, I have to go to the manual, but I, I believe this goes around the pump. The pump. Uh, what else is here? Here we got the screws that bolt into the socket, either either AMD or Intel. And here we got a bracket. I believe this one. It's I don't know. This is an AMD bracket. So the other one. So this one. This one is, wait, this one is Intel and this AMD. Now I got it correct. And this thing goes over the pump, if I'm not wrong. But we'll see when I install this thing. And we got more screws in here. We got a little more screws in here, which is pretty good. What else is on the box? It has some screws in here, and it has the steampunk thermal grease st1 what else is on the box well it looks like we got a fan splitter that is pretty cool it's a pwm fan splitter that's very nice very very nice good feature guys we got some screws in here i believe these are for the fans which is another good touch from first player we have a lot of goodies. I think we're good to go for the installation. What else is here? Oh, and here is the start of the show. All right. Let me get it out of the plastic. Okay. So what do we got here? Look at the thickness of it. It's the same as the H100i the same same structure same everything one thing that i find a little weird it's the hoses the hoses are a little weird i can't tell if they're plastic or not okay but another thing that i find a little weird it's this part here it's it's a weird look look to it it's rare okay it is nice though i have to say that it's nice the hoses are they're flexible very very flexible uh, at the bottom we have copper heat sink which is pretty cool pretty pretty cool i have to say one thing guys 
the pump is big, okay? The pump is not that small. But yeah, it's it's thick. So that means that it's a good pump. And here we got the same brackets right here, the same connectors here. Uh, take a look at this here. To monitor the RPM of the pump, here we have a one pin cable. This goes into the motherboard header. So you can uh, track the RPM of the pump. And we have SATA power here. It's only two cable. That you're gonna get your power from a SATA port. So that is pretty cool. Alright, final verdict. I have been testing this cooler for about a week now, running ADA64, 100% CPU stress test, stay around 75 to 85 Celsius, and while in game around 65 to 70 degrees. Now have in mind that my Intel i7 5820K is overclocked at 4.5 GHz, 1.312 core voltage, and the pump RPM is at 3200. Pretty good RPM for a pump to be honest. So is it worth it? Let me say, yes it is. So stay tuned and stay alert whenever hits the market and if you're interested of getting one let me know I may make it possible for you to get one in the meantime it's not yet available in the United States thank you guys for watching my video stay tuned for more reviews of first player products and stay tuned for more reviews I'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe hit the like down below thank you guys